Hi, how's everyone doing? I'm your Gibbs, and we're playing Angelica Weaver. Catch me when you can. So let's go ahead and get right into this. We're back into, I guess, modern day times, and we've been photographing victims on our camera phone. We have eight names. I don't know exactly how many we need, but we're going to go ahead and keep on looking for them. And yes, one of you had mentioned in the last video that the bricks are missing. I, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I'm not sure if we'll ever find out why, but it uh, could be a game developer mistake, I'm not sure. Or the bricks fell out, or... I, I don't know. Anyways, bricks are gone. The outline for the murder victim is still here. So let's go ahead and look at this. The light showed hidden messages before. Maybe it will again. It's too high to reach without some help. Alright, so we need a ladder. Let's go ahead and have a look for the ladder. It's good to be back here. This is where we started the game, right, folks? So this is it's good to be back. It's really good to be back. Uh, Chapman's still in here. Oh, I guess we're going to need that. And, oh, the drill tube? Sure, why not? Oh, names need to be completely revealed and recorded as photo evidence. Is that not completely revealed? I thought so. If the killer is still playing cat and mouse with me, I must be the last victim, not Kelly. <gasps> there has to be 20 names to collect. Whoa. Weaver is the last victim? That's insane. All right, let's keep on looking here. Oh, there's another sheriff badge. That's got to be a bad situation. Okay, so we still need a ladder. Where did we leave a ladder? Didn't we have a ladder out here somewhere? I have to remember. Back this way, maybe. Ah, there's our ladder. Thank you, ladder. Uh, oh, look at the crane over there, too. So... Alright, let's go back and play with the light. Who is the murderer? This is very, very intriguing. Um... Cool. So somewhere else, I have to put the light bulb, don't I? Well, let's go back to Chapman's house. That was Chapman's garage. <gasps> did you see that mystery shadow? I sure did. Alright, my car's gone too. Is he in here? <gasps> Number 13 is Brady. Holy, 20 names? Are you serious? I just thought about that for a second. <laughs> oh my god, just 20 names. Uh, alright, let's do this. Ooh. Okay, I've got to be slow now because the story comes out in these things. It's kind of crazy. Neighborhood watch. That's kind of weird. Let's try not to go too fast here. Some nail clippers. Looks like someone's left over some... TV dinner. Although, nowadays, it's probably more like a computer dinner because... I don't know if many people watch a lot of TV anymore. Uh, I guess there's still quite a few people that do do that. Honey Boo Boo, you know, all that excellent, excellent television like Honey Boo Boo. And uh, Four Weddings, and uh, what else is on there? Victorious, you know, all that excellent television. Uh, what else do we have here? Contact lens case, glass cleaner, right there. Watering can and a whistle. I thought I saw that whistle. I sure did. Watering can is there. We'll go ahead and hit the last one. Cuz can. Oh wow, I used to have contacts like that. Yeah, I don't... I used to need glasses, but I... had laser eye surgery done several years ago. Or a couple years ago. So I don't need glasses anymore. Or contacts. Okay. It was a little scary, yes, for those of you that are curious about that. <laughs> Maybe I'll tell you more about that at some point. I don't know. Alright, hinting is good. Oh, we have to go through the window? Are you serious? We can go through the window. What window is it that we're coming through, actually? This is weird. I don't understand which window we popped out of. Goals. What is our goal? Find and photograph the victim's names. Okay. 
Oh, we can go this way? Huh, we've never been here. We have not been here, folks. Oh no, more barrel stuff. Oh no. Continue the chase by moving the barrel around and setting it up directly under the fire escape. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, sure. No, we can't go that way. Let's go this way then. Let's go. Um, sure. Let's think about this for a second. No, it won't fit there. Crud. Uh, can I go this way? Uh, gotta roll it, right? Do, do, do. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Hello. Barrel moving. Congratulations, you moved the barrel in under the second fire escape in less than 30 moves. That's because I am awesome. Uh, is there anything else we need to do here before we get under that barrel? No, we need that brush. Uh, whoa, what's this? This is a security system on the gate. It can only be opened with a code. We need the code. We do not have the code. Uh, is there anything else here? No. Oh yeah, let's go up. Barbecue time. Another person's name. Which kind of scratched out, isn't it? Oh, we can use our barbecue brush. Excellent. Still got nine more to go. Man, man, that's a lot of people's names. Uh, okay. Stock, it needs something to loosen it up. Like a wrench? I think a drill will do it. Grill fork? Oh, man. Uh... Is there anywhere else we can go? I don't know what else to do. We don't really have anything. Hmm. Stock, it needs something to loosen up. Hmm. I think we need to get in here, folks. Let's go back down for a second. Okay, that's where the code goes. Fine. I want this, don't I, maybe? I don't know, let's hint. Let's find what does it tell us. Take a f picture of the name. What name? Are you serious? Oh. He doesn't have a number. I would have not have actually thought to take that picture. But anyways, cool. Now we're one number <laughs> left to go. Wait. No, this way. Do 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 do. We must have missed something. How are we gonna open up a window? I wasn't sure what this thing is. Fish? No. Fire? Remember we had to put a VCR tape in there? That was old school. Uh. What's this stuff? Is that some whiskey? What is this? Olive oil? Seriously? Hmm. Will that make things nice and slippery? It's kind of weird. It is, too. Wow. Normally you'd think oil, but... I guess olive oil, sure. Let's go with that. That's what we'll do. Uh, what else do we have here? One of those... We... We have this. Yeah! Do some plumbing! Oh, steamed up. <gasps> Wait, why does it have my name? Why does it have my name? WTF. Why does it have... I'm a victim? Okay, that's weird. Okie dokie. Sure, we'll go with that. Looks like it's been tampered with recently. Let's get in there and figure out what's going on. Oh, 0127. That's a code for some reason. Uh, okay, can we drill it? No. Light it up. 
anything else that we can do in here? Uh, no, for some reason your Gibbs is uh, in trouble, apparently. Alright, well, let's, I assume that's the code for here. So it is... Yeah, here's the code right here. There you go. Zero, one, two, seven, pound. We are totally in business. Alright, let's go ahead and move up. Take that. Oh, what do we gotta do here? Oh yeah, okay, cool, I can lower this. I'm really digging this game, by the way, folks. I don't know if they're ever gonna do an Angelica Weaver 2, but... I will definitely play that game. I am, in, I am truly enjoying this game. Or maybe there's more that the developer did, too. I'll have to look that up as well. Because I am... Definitely enjoying this. Uh, we just... Maybe... Corliss drill it? No? Uh, there's some type of residue on the panes. Shower curtain? That doesn't make any sense at all. Oh, we need to get that ball boat, maybe? Hmm. Oh, Jesus! Okay, that was a jump scare. Oh, man, I want the cat. No cats for you, Gibbs. Number 17 is Kelly. That's the cat's uh, cat collar. Number two. Whoops. Okay, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here, folks. Knows, A lot of the names are Irish or Scottish descent. The East End Slasher may have prowled areas other than London with large heritage populations like Ireland or New York. I'm Scottish. I'm half Scottish. Half Scottish, half French Canadian. Uh, alright, let's go this way. Creepy. That manhole cover was put on in a hurry. Somehow the killer... Whoops. That's a name? Sure it is. 17, folks. It was lifted, was it? Alright. It's a dump truck. Ooh, there you go. The car was lifted so the killer could get under. Then the jack was kicked out and the crank was taken down the hole. So what are we going to do without a crank then? I don't know. We're kind of in trouble. Let's go back then. I don't know if this... Oh, we missed a badge. Okay, what are we going to do for a crank? I need something to... Something is needed to rotate the screw in the jack. Hmm. Uh, light bulb? <laughs> what am I supposed to use to do that? Doesn't make any sense. Something else must be around here somewhere. In the trunk, maybe? No? Hmm. Uh... <laughs> what the hell was that? That was actually scary. Alright, so there we go. Another name. One more to go, folks. One more to go. What else can we do here? This is too high to reach. The floor and the walls are too slippery. Shower curtain? No? Where can we go? No? Uh... I don't understand. Where am I supposed to... So what exactly did that do? <laughs> I'm not sure with that shower curtain. Shoot, we're missing a name. We're hinting it. Hang the light housing from the hook. Uh... Something might help to reveal the residue on the windows. Okay. Special bulb is needed. Whoa, number one! That's the one we needed, folks. Yay! I've got all 20 names! This will keep the station and DA busy. Let's go and catch a criminal. Uh, this way. 
What, what's our goal now? Return two dress pieces and, and a ring to marry. What? Really? Northbound. Oh. A plague just got away. A plague just got away? That's weird. Michael. Kelly, of course. His name wasn't on the police watch list. Someone knew his timetable from another neighborhood. Okay. There was no struggle, but how do you sneak up on someone in here? He was killed by someone he knew, or trusted, or didn't perceive as a threat. Someone posing as a workman, a police officer, a doctor. What? I don't know. You were Mary Jane Kelly, who history says was the last victim of the East End Slasher. And you are in pain, wandering. The killer took his time. He spoke to you. Someone will pay a price on November 30th. The killer is an American. He did not say the date in an Englishman's order with the day first. <gasps> okay. <laughs> He's American. Oh if my an American goodness. with a little money stayed in the East End for four months, they needed to stay in a lodge. Okay. Find two dress pieces and a ring. The killer took her ring and two pieces to her dress. She wants them back before she can okay, rest. Okay, well, we'll take care of that. Uh, where else can we go? Can we go this way? There's a piece. Mm, where else can we go? We can go in here. Do this. Is that another piece? Yay, now we just need a ring. Hmm. What's all this all about? Sorry, what? What are we doing here? Hmm. Not sure what's the point of this. Oh, okay. This is the only letter from America. It is addressed to Mr. Francis J. Tumblety, who rather fancies himself to be a doctor. Haha. <laughs> We found you, we're coming for you. Oh, a key is always good. Alright, cool. Key, to what room number was that? Shoot. Uh, we'll probably figure it out eventually. It was in the 20s, wasn't it? Or is this just a key to here? Ooh, hello. This quilt has something to do with some type of Sumerian ritual. The missing pieces look like the dress pieces Mary Jane Kelly once returned. Uh oh. Do I put the pieces in this quilt and further the case? Or satisfy Mary Jane's wishes? Yikes. I feel compelled to give her what she wants. I don't know. What do you think, folks? Should we solve the mystery or should we. Oh, wow, look at that. We collected all 52 dream, dream catchers. That's pretty cool. Achievement unlocked. Your handwriting looks very familiar, boss. Tumblety is dressed like a man whose ego is out of control. His mustache would leave a trail of loose hairs. <laughs> okay. I see you use an alias. On one note, you signed as Francis Tumblety. The other is Frank Townsend. Mm hmm. Cool. Okay, let's go ahead and get this done. Try not to go too quickly. Ooh, look! Scotland Yard questions headmaster in East End slasher murders. Druitt is taking credit for someone else's handiwork. <gasps> Canada, even though I don't live in Montreal. That's right, when you're French, you don't pronounce the T. Montreal or Montreal. I've actually been there quite a few times. Never been to New York, would love to go. Never been. One of these days, I'm going to New York City. With all the other related bottles in this room, I'd say this is the source. Annie Chapman got her snake oil from this quack Francis Tumblety. This quack? I want that gun. The owner of these sharp tools would be good at carving sheep. Okay, not sure why that's carving sheep. There's a ring. Why can't I have that ring? 
Alright, ancient text, calendar, and an umbrella. Scarf gloves. Uh, where's the scarf? Ancient text. What does that even look like? Tongs. Hmm. There's tongs right there. There's a scarf. Ancient text. Pant security. What the heck is pant security? Oh, suspenders. Oh, okay, cool. The same as found in John Druitt's room. Which man was the teacher and which one was the student? Mary Kelly's ring. Alright, we're in business, folks. This uh, quilt has something to do with... Do I put the pieces in this quilt and... Oh, well, I guess it's not letting me. This quilt has something to do, do I put the pieces okay, in this... Okay, okay, shh, 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 shh. Got it. We're going back to... Her. Mary Kelly, here you go. The killer took her ring and two pieces to her dress. She wants them back before she... The killer took her ring Got it. and... Gave it to her. I did the right thing. Now that Mary knows about Tumblety, she wants me to catch him. She is giving me the dress pieces I found, as well as a third the killer tried to get. I'm going back to Tumblety's room and see how they fit that quilt. Let's do it. We're gonna get him. We're on the hunt for you. I'm not sure what that is. Who said I only killed women? Today we'll make sure John Druitt's suicide is successful. Boss. What does that even mean? Well, we're in modern times again. John Druitt's Green Street office, Chicago River. This statement always bothered me. It feels like a riddle. I'll be taking a month off, boss. The end of October is my holiday. When we return, do you think you can find a specific Kelly in a city that dies? It's River Green. Let's see Patrick's day. I know that Francis Tumblety of the past hated John Druitt for taking some of his spotlight. I suspect nothing has changed in the present, even more since this Druitt is a licensed doctor. In a fit of anger, Part of the plan was revealed. Druid, not Kelly, is going to die by the river. It has to happen on November 30th, and his office happens to be near the river on Green Street. It's a quinky Hey, who's this dude over here? Let's go see him. I can remove those ropes one at a time. Oh, what ropes? Oh my god, is it cut the rope? <laughs> Holy crap, it's cut the rope. <laughs> wow. Oh, shoot. This is insane. I can't believe it's cut the rope. Alright, it's screwed up. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my god. I don't know how to do this. Oh, I suck. Uh. Oh, shoot. I can't do it. How did I do it the first time? Uh oh shoot, I missed it. Okay, let, let's think about this for a second. This makes it go there. I gotta do it quicker though. Okay, so we gotta do this one. This oh shit, I missed it. Do this one. Oh man. Crap. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Cut the rope! Oh, we gotta do it again? I don't wanna do it again. That was hard. If I get the right sequence, I'll knock the tarp off all four hooks and capture the killer. Oh my goodness. More cut the rope. Holy cow. Ah, uh, jeez. Alright, that sucked. Uh, I need to drop it somehow. See, that gets two of them. Oh, okay, so that one goes there. Crap. Uh, let's see, so that goes there. Oh, shoot, keep doing the wrong one. <gasps> yes! Yes, 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 I'm wearing my hands together, yes! 
Look at that, folks. I solved all the puzzles. Frances Townsend, I presume. A direct descendant of Frances Tumblety. She kept the alias he used when fleeing the East End to live in New York and Missouri. She's a girl. <gasps> it's a girl. The murder weapon. The killer won't be able to slash away to freedom this time. Whoa. I don't need to wait a while longer. I have the murder weapon and I have you, boss. I may send you the bloody knife if you only wait a while longer. Catch me when you can, Miss Weaver. Dun dun dun. Guilty as charged. Frances, Frances Tumbleton was the East End slasher. History did not record that he murdered Montague John Druitt. He evaded capture by going back to New York, New York under the alias Frank Townsend and completed his spree of 20 murders. The serial killer died of natural causes in 1903 at the age of 70. Tumbleton's serial killing pattern was copied by his descendant, Frances Townsend. This time Druitt was spared. Her ego and compulsive need to stick to the family pattern brought the reign of terror in Cicero to an end. An overactive murder weapon is retired. Signing out, Angelica. Distinguished Service Award. Congratulations, you completed the story. Oh, that's it, folks. Wow. That was an amazing game. I truly enjoyed this. It was, uh... The graphics was amazing. The story was really cool. Flipping back from time to the past to the present. The tangled weave of the story uh, had me all over the place. I had no idea what was going on until the very end. Even the Dreamweaver piece and finding those as hints was really well done. I will have to check out more and uh, see what other games these guys are doing because this one was amazing. I say go buy it, folks. This one gets my thumbs up. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Your Gibbs. See you in the next game.